What's up scums popcorn here. Having in mind that we have a new update, it is time to retest the explosives and see which one is more efficient when we go base raiding and also at the end we are gonna test out the C4 radius. Quick mention before we getting started, we are not far away from the 1000 subscriber milestone and I will do a giveaway live stream here on the channel. So if you are not subscribed to the channel and you wanna win a scum steam key, make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for the giveaway live stream that I'm gonna do. With this being said, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and the old subscribers. Thank you for all the love and support. And now, let's go testing. Alright, so we all know that bullets do no damage to walls anymore, but for the sake of this video, we are gonna test it out again. And also, melee weapons do no damage to the walls anymore. So as you can see, it is 250 of 250. Now we are gonna get to explosives. First explosive I'm gonna use is gonna be explosive arrows. This time for some grenades. Let's have a second throw on grenades. Before going further, let's draw a conclusion on explosive arrows and grenades. So explosive arrows do like one, between one and one and a half HP damage and grenades do between nine and 10 damage. Next up we have improvised mines. I'm gonna retest once more the improvised mine and see if we get the same result. Next we have from one mine, which is this one over here, if you don't know how it looks like. Let's see how much damage this does. Seems like the prom mine, it is pretty OP, killed me when I destroyed it. So let's see the damage. So from these testings, we learned the fact that if you have a prom one mine and you want to blow it up, don't stay too close because <laughs> you're gonna get killed. But yeah, this is why we do the testings, so we learn every day. Okay, so we are gonna retest the prom one mine to see if we get the same result. Now I am safer <laughs> at a higher distance. That was a huge lag, I must say. Shooting it and then exploding. I was about to shoot the second bullet. Let's see the damage. Next up we have small anti-personal mine. Nice. Let's see the damages. Retest of small anti-personal mine. This is the regular anti-personal mine. Retest of the regular anti-personal mine.
Okay, it's time for some pipe bombs. Let's do a retest of the pipe bomb, but before that I want to mention that you might want to be careful because the radius is pretty big. I did got bleeding injury for the last pipe gun, pipe bomb that I have blow up. So let's do this other one. Yeah, we got another bleeding injury. Alright, so this time we have the improvised claymore and I just got the idea just to see how much distance is between me and the explosive and we are at roughly 20 something meters. Now it gives me 23 meters before I had 27 so in between 20 and 27 meters range. So you can have an, an idea about the radius of the explosives. Let's do the improvised claymore. Yeah, this one gave me a really nasty thing. But we are good. Let's go and see the um, damages. Because the damages on the character we know already. Oh man, I'm already drawing some conclusions, but let's do the retest for the improvised claimer. And the last one, regular claimer. Alright, so the retest for the regular claimer. Alright, and it is time for the C4 radius. We have here 6 blueprints of 5 meter walls, which means 30 meters. And we have the wall at the end of the blueprint and then this other wall 3 meters further away. So in my testings, I have noticed some kind of a damage deflection but I'm not gonna show it up in the video because it is not happening all the time so I don't think it is relevant. Basically the damage deflection is when you have a wall in an angle the blast will hit this wall and will destroy another wall further away even if it's not in the C4 radius. But yeah alright so we're gonna put the C4 over here right And in my testings, the C4 radius, it is around 30 meters. So this other wall, the second wall, should not be destroyed. Yes, so the C4 radius, it is about 30 meters. Also, the safe zone, you should be like further away than 30 meters. So you don't take damage. Oh, look at that. We have an airdrop landing down. Maybe we will go and get that. Having in mind that we talk about base rating, I was thinking to throw this one up in the video as well. So, regardless of the length of the wall, if it's a brick wall or concrete wall, you will need 2C4s to destroy the wall. Or 1C4 and some other explosives that we have tested out today. And I'm gonna show this one up. So the C4 is gonna take percentage out of the wall, of the out of the HP of the wall, and it's not gonna take the whole HP of one meter wall, two meter wall, or five meter walls. It's gonna take percentage out of it. So this is how the C4 works. All right, it is time to draw some conclusions. What we take away from this video? Exploding arrows are not worth it because they are kind of expensive to craft and they don't do so much damage. Regarding the grenades, I would probably use them 
for crafting improvised claimers rather than using them as grenades. Mines are good, but I don't think you should go raiding with mines because I would rather put them as defense in the base. But yeah, improvised claimer and claimer are pretty good for raiding. Also, the C4, it is still the king of the raiding. In my opinion, the raiding system, it is balanced at this point. It is right where it should be. So either you lockpick, either you work your ass to craft C4s. But if you cannot lockpick, there is this cheap way of crafting improvised mines, the ones that you do with the bottles. And those do like decent amount of damage and you can craft them pretty cheap. So if you cannot lockpick, the improvised mines, the ones made from the bottles, are the way to go if you want to raid with explosives. Basically this was the test guys and I hope that you found something fair helpful. Don't forget to stay safe, stay great and as always, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.